Hey guys, it's me, Cute Fuzzy Weasel. <laughs> it's been a long few weeks. I'm looking into going back to school. Also, I have an idea about episode 100 that I'm gonna run by you guys at the end of this one. But let's go ahead and get to this episode's troll, Megan Fox. No, not that Megan Fox. This Megan Fox! You guys may know her from a video where she walks around a history museum and makes comments. Like a crazy person. Now I'm not doing that video. Not yet. It's like 35 minutes long, so I mean unless you want to sit here and watch me go for an hour... <laughs> so instead of that video, I decided to go onto her channel and find one that was a little bit shorter, and I found this one. Fidget Mittens. I have no idea. Sure do love that free YouTube music. What's going on with these subtitles? It's like they're not exactly in the middle, but they're not exactly on the bottom either. They're in a weird in-between state. Oh, fuck. Fuck. No. No. Hello. I'm Fidget Mittens, and I'm here at Sassy Plants Headquarters to tell you about the new winter planning program. Okay, let's just examine the scene, shall we? First off, uh, what's going on with that blue background there? Sort of reminds me of that one creepy pasta about the guy who was filming shit down in his basement and cutting up kids. Uh, we've got an aloe plant that seems to be just kinda hanging in there. Some flowers I think might be dying. Iron Man, um, in a cloud with pow. Is he exploding? Did you blow up Iron Man? And then there's this thing! Okay! It looks like someone cut at a penis. And it's wearing Dr. Forrester's jacket. Oh, and it talks! Alright! Yeah, this, this is one of my nightmares, I'm sure of it. I love plants. And it eats things. Plants are so lovely. Ouch! You show that thing, Aloe! Kick its ass! That looks pokey! But it's still sassy. And there's mold coming out of the top of its head. Big, long, stringy strands of mold. I'm here to tell you about the new winter planting program. Why is this thing whispering? Are you trying to make it seem creepier? You don't have to! It's plenty creepy! And since no one plants flowers in the winter, I thought this would be a great time to start. Well, actually, there are flowers that you can plant in the winter, but most of the time people don't plant things in the winter because it's cold. Sub-freezing temperatures tend to fuck with plants. Frozen ground never stops me. Nothing can stop the ancient Sumerian demon fidget mittens from taking your children's hearts away. No. All you have to do... Uh. ...is plant five flowers, and you will win some fabulous prizes. Like keeping your soul. <laughs> I'm here with my friend, right here. Iron Man. Do you hear that? What's that noise? Oh my god! It's the Disney lawyers! Run! Run! Did you notice? Did you notice him? Did I notice the Iron Man action figure in a wedding dress? Yes! Yes, I did! The reason why he's wearing this fabulous rain poncho thingy is because you can win a rain poncho too! participating in our winter planting program. Why yes, plant five flowers in the winter and you too could win a garbage bag with a hole cut in it. All you have to do is plant five flowers and tell us about it right here. After six hours of the pickaxe, I finally managed to crack through the frozen dirt and deposit my doomed plants in the ground. 
Hopefully, they won't turn into icicles before I'm done typing this message. Include your sassiest photos, please. Oh, shucks. I don't think this is an appropriate website for that. Don't forget to register online or in person here at Sassy Clint's headquarters. Yes, come to my lair so I can observe you. <laughs> Perhaps when you visit, you will stop by to see the cookbooks that we have that we will show you how to cook with plants. Whoa! You can eat plants? <laughs> plants are more than decoration, you know. They're also a part of my sinister plan. <laughs> we can help you by showing you how to cook your favorite plants in the style of the French. Oui, oui, today I will show you how to saute an oak tree. We think all things French are super sassy. That's actually somewhat ironic coming from you. And fancy. So I have a new book to show you with recipes for French style plants you can eat like les choux blah blah blah. With caramel sauce and spinach. Spinach is really sassy, especially so with blue bitty blue Francois sauce. Blue did a blue Francois sauce. If I have any French speakers in the audience, post in the comments below what that translates to. Now some of you have written to me asking for news. Because you heard there were a few incidences here at Sassy Plants with a man-eating plant. Yeah, this thing? Last time we had a program. Those reports are highly exaggerated. Only one person got eaten, and since then, we've taken measures to increase security. So a giant Venus flytrap ate one of the sock puppets, so a bunch of other sock puppets got together with screwdrivers, and they now guard the Venus flytrap. We have put those sassy man-eating plants in a separate room from where you all come and visit. There's no need to get rid of the man-eating plants because they're plants too, and we wouldn't want to violate their rights. Oh, I get it. There's some kind of weird subtext with the man-eating plants, isn't there? But don't worry. Only two people ever got injured by those plants, and those four people are just fine. We'll accept the one that's dead, but the other six are recovering well in the hospital and will be perfectly fine. Okay, you want to sum up here? In fact, I heard the nine injured people are coming to our winter planning event. I'm honestly not surprised the sock puppet's bad at math. Its brain is made of hand flesh. So again, to recap, winter planning, winter planting, no man-eating plants. But what if I want to plant a man-eating plant? Does that mean that I can't? Plant a man-eating... It's too early in the morning for rhymes. And 12 injured people are coming to our event. I hope you have a wonderful planting season. And remember, stay sassy. Oh, fuck me. It's not over. I got, I got no idea. I have no idea. Editing powers, activate! And there you have it. Megan Fox audits your sanity. Now, before I go on to the anyway you guys like blah, 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 I want to talk about episode 100. Now, I was going to do monkey game guides for episode 100 because I thought it would be, you know, prudent. Since he was my first troll. But I went to his channel and... Yeah... The fuck? All your videos are private! I guess he got embarrassed or something? So anyway, I can't do him, but I still want it to be a classic troll, you know? So, I had to go with this guy. So I'm doing this video of his, this one right here. Why am I telling you this and giving you a link to it? Because instead of doing all the commentary for episode 100, I want you guys to do the commentary. Yeah, I'm still gonna interject my own comments in the video, but most of, if not all, of the comments made during episode 100 by me 
will be from you. Here's how it's gonna work. I want you guys to watch this video and come up with snide comments and remarks for it. Then I want you guys to go to this email address right here and email me the text of the comment you want me to say and the time code of where in the video you want me to say it. So let's say your comment is fuck you ass clown at zero zero dot dot zero one dot dot zero 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 then there's a chance i could say fuck you ass clown within the first second of his video now i'm gonna have to limit the amount of comments i actually want you to send to three just so no one sends me like a text wall of a thousand comments submissions start today and end at this date after that i'll copy all the emails down and delete the account anyway if you like this video like comment subscribe check out my other videos and as always have a good day and remember next episode Episode 100.